hi if you want to crop your image before uploading on your server so we have already created one demo for you so let's check the output first and how this demo will work let's see so here we already created one demo so here you need to select your image first right so take one image here now like i select this image now here you can see you can crop your image based on your requirement so here i simply crop this image right now when i click on this crop button that image will be stored in our server so once this image will uploading on server this message will display here like image uploaded successfully now how is it possible for that we already created this blog i also shared this blog link in my video description so you will go through this link and here you need to create one file like crop image dot html right so i already created that file like crop image dot html so simply i open that file and you simply need to copy paste this code right so simply you need to copy paste this code i also explain how this code will work so first you need to copy paste this code right i already copy paste that code in my file here you can see now you must have to remember here you can see we have included some library like uh, bootstrap.min.css and cropmin.css which is used for designing purpose and this is the most important one javascript library here you can include jquery bootstrap min and croppermin.js this is a croppermin.js which is used for crop your image so this is most important library croppermin.js and this is a supportive library jquery and bootstrap min.js so you must have to include this library into your file here you can see in our code we already have uh, included that link that is css and here you can see javascript library so you must have to include this library now how this will work so here you can see whenever i choose any file at that time here you can see we created one info type is equal to file here you can see first you need to create input type is equal to file and also you need to provide a name and class like image so i already give that a class name is image and also whenever i select any image at that time one model or pop up will open so at that time this pop up will display like this so here you can see we display our original image here and this is our preview image so for that here you can see when i i inspect at that time you can see we provide one class like class is equal to preview so also you need to mention that preview class name so you must have to remember class is equal to preview and here you can see id is equal to image here we will display our original image and we will perform crop and another process here so this is a html code now whenever you click on choose file it means whenever you choose any file at that time here you can see on change event will call and get all image details so this code will be used for getting 
image details and all that so simply you need to copy paste this code so whenever you click on that like whenever you click on this choose image file at that time at that time this code will call now the most important code is this one so whenever you click on crop button so here simply we take one image so when you take one image at that time whenever you click on this crop button whenever you click on this crop button at that time this code will call right so you must have to provide that crop id id is equal to crop on crop button so here you can also see we provided one id is equal to crop so here you can see id is equal to crop so whenever you click on this crop button at that time this code will call now we we use one method like get cropped canvas this is a proper js predefined method so you simply you need to provide width and height as per your requirement if you want to increase or decrease height then you can change this height and width right so once you use this get cropped canvas that result will be stored inside this canvas variable now here you need to pass our canvas result into this ajax block but before passing that canvas result into this ajax block we converted that canvas result into this base64 format so for that we create one object like reader and that blob data will be converted into this base64 data so how this base64 data will display let's see that base64 data why we need to pass this base64 format because that canvas will not directly uploaded on server so that's why we converted that canvas result into this base64 format here you can see this is how our base64 format will display like this so so that base64 value we need to pass inside this ajax block and in this ajax blocks you can see we create a one or we need to call one file like crop underscore image upload dot php so that also we need to create that file i already created that file so you must have to create that file and here you need to pass your folder part it means you need to create a one folder also so i already created that folder crop underscore images and also you need to provide write permission i already provided that write permission if okay now now here we get that base64 value and we need to use that explode function to explode that image part and type of which type of image and here you can see we are using base64 underscore decode this is a php function which is used for convert your base64 images or base64 result into this image so you need to pass that image underscore base64 value or variable inside this file underscore put contents so this is also php function which is used for uploading your file on your server so this is how we uploaded that file on our server so simply you need to write this 5 to 6 line code to upload your image on your server and finally once your image is uploaded on your server this json on underscore and code function will use to return that response on our file so once this file is uploaded successfully then this message will return into this ajax block and here you can see once success then our um, pop up will close and here we simply 
display one alert message like image uploaded successfully so this is how this image crop or image cropping will work so if you have any query while set up this code into your project or if you have any query please write it down your comment in comment section or please don't forget to subscribe our channel because we have so many predefined solution in our blog or you can also visit our website like shinerweb.com so you will get so many solution from our website there is so many solution we already uploaded on our website so don't forget to subscribe our channel and don't forget to visit our website www.shinerweb.com and thanks for watching bye bye